Hey guys, it's Fives here with a face shave. Today we'll be using Bear Stearns Man's Hollows and the Rex Ambassador. Rex Ambassador has a um, second use repair super stainless, which is um, the one in this package. I know there's like four different repairs and they all sound pretty much the same. Um, I've got the soap lathered up here with my AP Shave Go brass handle with the Pelagic, um, I think that's how you say it, Typhoon Knot, 26 millimeter Typhoon Knot. It lathered up really, really well. So it's really nice and creamy. Um, that nice yogurt consistency that you want. And it's it was really easy to whip up. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this soap by Barrister and Man is no longer available. And they didn't bring it back for Halloween this year, which is unfortunate. I think they're going to have enough push to bring it back for next year and their new Omnibus, I think is how you say it, base. I'm really bad at pronouncing some of these words. Um, <clears throat> but hopefully they bring them back next year so I can get me a splash uh, the set notes on this I think are vetiver, cocoa it doesn't say it on here but I think it's vetiver, cocoa like chocolate cocoa and um I blanked on that. Uh, vetiver, cocoa, and something else. It's basically a, a fougere type soap um, that is kind of semi-sweet, but mostly fougere to my nose. I do get the cocoa, actually get it substantially, um, but I do also get some of the green greenness um, for the fougere. All right, so I'm gonna put some heat in this razor. And today we will be using it on setting four. 24 hours of growth. If I sound a little congested, I apologize. I think I'm fighting off the common cold. <clears throat> I've been loading up on the Robitussin. Try to fight off the symptoms. Also, doesn't it help that I was um, I was on call all weekend. All Halloween weekend. I work in the cardiac cath lab for those of you who don't know. <clears throat> and part of my job is to take call at night on certain nights during the week and then some weekend call. And if somebody's having a heart attack or some kind of emergent cardiac related um, incident, then we get called in and we try to fix them up. So that's we're we so we're supposed to do one weekend a month and um, one week night per week. But I usually take a lot more call than that. I usually double or triple that. Um, so. <laughs> Alright, first pass was really smooth. 
no complaints whatsoever. Soap smells great. It's about a six or seven out of ten on scent strength for me, even with my congestion. This, this scent is not for everybody. Got a great, it's like a fantastic lather right here. That's what you want. You want that peak that just kind of hangs there and kind of like slides slowly. Where it's got density and it's not airy, but it has enough hydration to be slick. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more. The more slick your lather is, the better. You can overhydrate and wash out your soap if you use way too much water. But I do recommend testing the soap base that you're using. Slowly add a little bit of water until you get to about this point in the lather where it's really um, creamy and you've got a good sheen on it or if you shine like a light at it um, you get kind of a reflection back <clears throat> All right, second pass across the grade nose to ear direction Still on setting four. Alright. I'll go kind of across the grain this way. The Rex Ambassador is doing awesome. Um, like I said before, it's one of my favorite razors. It's so versatile. <clears throat> you can use it on low settings, one through three. It's kind of mild. Or if you crank it up like four to six. It's definitely a more efficient, more aggressive, or whatever you want to say, razor. With a good amount of blade feel. A lot of people think this is, and I'm not saying they're wrong, their experience is their experience. Everybody experiences things differently. But for some people, this is too aggressive, even on some of the lower settings, one or two. <laughs> and all I do whenever I rinse between passes is I'll put um, some water in my hands, pull some soap out of my facial hair, and kind of just rub it around. And then I'll rinse my hands off and with the excess water that's on my hands, I'll add it to the bowl and then I'll kind of rehydrate it. Especially if I'm using a natural haired knot because it, um, I don't know, you can't see that because the light is washing it out, but that's fantastic hydration in there. Um, natural haired knots tend to take some of the hydration And then just sitting there while I'm shaving during the past, the hydration kind of dissipates too. Not the soap itself, just the water it's, that might be in it. Depending on how long I take to do the pass. So I just like to refresh it with some, some water. Just to make sure it's well hydrated. Especially since I like using more efficient razors, hydration is 
is key. Once I got my hydration game dialed in, <clears throat> it changed like everything for me. All right. I'm gonna dial it down to setting two and a half for I guess the grain on this side of my neck. You can still hear some audio feedback, or at least I can. I don't know if you guys can. And I'll dial it back up to four. Four for my cheeks. <clears throat> the key with this razor is using a steeper angle and what i mean by steeper because i know we all throw around steep and shallow and neutral is with this razor on your face this is if this is neutral i bring it down a little bit more right in the cap versus right in the guard this razor does a little bit better riding the card. So, if you've got a Rex Ambassador, I highly recommend that. <clears throat> pick up on my neck right here. I'm just going to put it down the setting two. <laughs> All right. Very nice. I'll be right back after the post. All right, guys, and I'm back. After the shave, I rinsed off with some warm water using uh, Allen Block, and I had very minimal stinging just in this little trouble area right here, where I kind of buff against the grain. Otherwise, super, super smooth, no irritation whatsoever. Um, so just to recap, we used the Barrister and Man's Hollows and the Rex Ambassador, and we used a second use for Pura Super Stainless. Um, and I'm going to finish off with the Leviathan aftershave. It does really, it does go really well with this, uh, scent. So it's fine, but I hope, I hope that, um, they bring back the hollow scent next year. This scent's like a punch in the face. This is a very manly, very masculine scent. I do really, really enjoy this scent right here. So much so that I got the EDP of it, which I'll be using here later on. Um, but I definitely get some coffee and some other scent notes, but I talked about this in, in one of my last videos. Um, very nice shave. If you've used <clears throat> Barristan Man's Hollows before it was discontinued, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of the Rex Ambassador if you've got one. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining.